The biggest problem with the truth is that perception is reality. If you've ever heard perception is reality and you've lived on this earth long enough to have to interact with people and ever try to achieve a goal that involves anybody else, then you'll kind of know that it's got a lot of truth to it. There is no one truth. Truths, our truth, your truth, my truth, anyone's truth gets blurred by perspective. Perspective is the way we see things. It's our point of view. A lot of times our perspective also gets blurred or jacked up to another level by the emotions we might feel in response to what we see, to our point of view. Oftentimes we tell ourselves a story that is probably not based in factual reality. This has to do with the truths of relationships and of interacting with one another in our view of the world that isn't defined by objective truths, scientific facts, which even still get blurred by perspective because there's groups of people out there or there's a group of people out there that still believe the earth is flat. So perspective can be a pretty blurring apparatus. Ultimately, you can have your truth, but it doesn't make it the truth. And this is an important thing to remember when you're trying to communicate with anybody else. You have your truth, they have theirs. And so in this video I'd like to talk about, I wrote down a couple ideas that I had around this idea and about working towards the truth, which is still probably just an agreed upon reality between two people. The first is, as you pursue any dialogue and you're trying to get to the truth versus just your truth or their truth, you're trying to close this gap and trying to find common ground, right? That's the exercise that we're basically doing is that you both must be in search of the truth, which is gonna be very important. Not your truth, not their truth, but into something that you guys can agree on. That you and the other party can come to a conclusion and say, hey, this makes sense. Yes, I might have been a little wrong. Yes, you might have been a little wrong. Which as much as we wanna revel in that fact, we can't. That's not the point. Another tip that I would say that goes very powerfully in this direction is you must be open and honest with your truth with the feelings that you might have felt with what you saw from your perspective the way that you interpreted events this is all jaded or blurred it's distorted by the way that we see the world which happens through the collection of experiences that we collect throughout life it's bound to happen between two individuals. You live dramatically different lives, no matter how closely related you may be. And therefore your perspectives will be different, even if they're very similar. You could see a single event or a single situation in much different ways. Both sides must acknowledge where they could be wrong. You can't begin to learn and you can't be able to truthfully investigate a situation if you're not willing to be wrong, if you're not willing to accept that there might be ulterior, alternative viewpoints on a subject. Just understanding that your perspectives are different is fundamental to this. It is most likely that someone else sees things in a different way, and if you don't understand that, then it's gonna be very hard to come into alignment. It's gonna be very hard to agree. And truthfully, like I said, your truth isn't the truth. Your truth is also blurred. It's also distorted by your own perspective. So heading into this, knowing you could be wrong about certain aspects or about the whole story, about your whole perspective, is a fundamental step. I think there's two real things that I look for, is to try to find the agreement. Where are things that we agree on? What are things that we both see the same way and then find the disagreement. The work comes mostly in the second part, in the gap between your truth and their truth and understanding and coming to uh, an agreement on what that looks like. 
and what could be the truth that lies between you both. The truth should be very easy, but it's just not. And that's because as human beings, we tend to overcomplicate things and we tend to forget that our perspective is not truthfully reality. A stoic principle that really becomes helpful in this is understanding that your perception is not what rules everything. Your perception can definitely cause emotions, but your emotions don't have to dictate your actions. Your response does not need to be dictated by how you perceive it. You can start to view events objectively. This happened. It's neither good nor bad. And you don't start to assume intent for someone else's behavior. If it causes a negative emotion and it becomes an issue for you, for whatever reason that might be, you have to close that gap. You have to take action against it. If the, mean, if the relationship's meaningful towards you at all, or if a goal which requires that person in some way, shape or form is meaningful to you at all. This doesn't mean that it happens in every relationship you ever have. There's relationships that just ultimately aren't bound to work out and really you need to question whether or not they're worthwhile. But in the pursuit of anything worthwhile, you're gonna to have to build relationships with people you don't like, people you see the world differently from. And the bigger the gap, the more opportunity for growth. So by accepting and understanding that people view the world differently and that you might be wrong, you can start to have some interesting conversations that help you better understand other people, understand yourself, and get to a place where you just are a little bit more in touch with some truth. And you establish some common ground from which you can move forward. It's a very helpful thing in meaningful relationships and even in less meaningful relationships, but in towards moving towards impact. Hopefully you find these tips helpful. It's something that can stare you right in the face. You have to come to terms with it. So again, just kind of in summary, our perspectives blur our realities. They create our own version of the truth. And that this happens for others as well. So when working with anyone else towards any goal, it's important to understand that you have your own truths and they have theirs. So the work comes in trying to find a truth that you can both agree on. Remember, you can't lose if you don't quit.